Dear all, thanks for tuning to your favorite Cybersecurity Weekly Digest. Let's start with the biggest first news. In early October 2024, over 4,000 Adobe Commerce and Magento online stores were compromised by a vulnerability known as Cosmic Sting, CVE 2024-34102. This critical vulnerability, with a CVSS score of 9.8, is related to improper restriction of XML external entity, XXE references. Attackers exploited this flaw to steal sensitive data from unpatched systems. The vulnerability allows attackers to read arbitrary files from the server, and when combined with another flaw, CVE 2024-2961, it enables remote code execution. These attacks have been highly damaging, with e-commerce platforms such as Ray-Ban, National Geographic, and Whirlpool among the notable victims. The attackers have injected payment skimmers into the checkout pages of compromised stores, leading to the theft of customer credit card information. The skimmers were often hidden within domains that mimicked legitimate JavaScript libraries. Adobe issued a patch for the vulnerability in June 2024, but many stores were still unpatched as of October. The attacks are expected to continue as cybercriminals automate their exploits and target more unpatched sites. Adobe Commerce and Magento administrators are strongly advised to apply the latest patches and rotate cryptographic keys to prevent further compromises. Now let's jump on the data breach communicated last week. 1. MoneyGram date, September 20th to 22nd, 2024, disclosed in October. Details. Hackers accessed customer data, including names, social security numbers, government-issued IDs, transaction details, and utility bills. The breach resulted in a five-day outage but was not ransomware-related. Comcast and Truist Bank experienced a significant breach between February 14th and 26th, 2024, which was disclosed in October. Over 4.2 million individuals' personal information, including names, social security numbers, and account data, was exposed due to a breach at debt collection agency FBCS. Comcast had 230,000 customers affected, and Truist Bank customers were also impacted. American Water faced a cyber attack in early October 2024. This attack forced the company to shut down its customer portal and billing services temporarily. While details on the nature of the data exposed are still pending, the attack highlights vulnerabilities in critical infrastructure. ADT disclosed that 30,000 customer records were compromised in early October 2024. The compromised data included emails, phone numbers, and addresses. This was the second breach in two months, but fortunately, no sensitive financial data or home security systems were compromised. On October 1, 2024, a ransomware attack hit NHS London. This breach resulted in the exposure of nearly 1 million patients' data including sensitive health records related to conditions like cancer and sexually transmitted infections. In June 2024, though disclosed in October, hackers breached the systems of Stillwater Mining Company. This attack exposed the personal information of more than 7,000 employees during a ransomware incident. Between August 2023 and June 2024, a significant data breach affected SlimCD, a payment processing company. Disclosed in October, the breach compromised nearly 1.7 million credit card records. Kansas Franklin County, date May 2024, disclosed in October. Details. A ransomware attack led to the exposure of nearly 30,000 residents' personal data from the county's records. Avis Car Rental, date August 3rd to 6th, 2024, disclosed in October. Details. A breach affected nearly 300,000 customers after an unauthorized third party accessed a business application, compromising sensitive customer data. Here are some significant CVEs or common vulnerabilities and exposures with a CVSS score higher than 8.5 reported between October 1st and October 8th, 2024. 
CV2024-42024, also known as VM1, has a CVSS score of 9.1. This is a critical vulnerability that allows an attacker to perform remote code execution using the VM1 agent service account credentials. This exploit could compromise the machine where the agent is installed. CVE-2024-1709, which affects Screen Connect, has a CVSS score of 10.0. This is a critical authentication bypass vulnerability in ConnectWise Screen Connect. Attackers can exploit this to gain administrative access and execute remote code without user interaction. This vulnerability has been linked to ransomware attacks. CVE-2024-1212 Loadmaster, CVSS score 9.0, a vulnerability in progress. Kemp Loadmaster's web user interface allows attackers to inject commands and execute system-level operations. Exploits for this vulnerability have been widely circulated. CV2024-21673 Atlassian Confluence CVSS score 8.8 .8. This vulnerability allows for remote code execution in certain versions of Atlassian Confluence, affecting both data center and server configurations. CVE2024-1451 GitLab CEE CVSS score 8.7 a stored cross-site scripting XSS vulnerability in GitLab CEE that could allow attackers to perform actions on behalf of victims via crafted payloads. I spend my best efforts to maintain the Cybersecurity Digest. Please like it, share it, and subscribe to the YouTube channel to get notified on new cybersecurity content. Stay guard up, take care.